big big game tonight it may very well decide this series because I think we all have an idea of what the Cleveland crowd's going to be like in a hypothetical game seven so game six might be the deciding factor so w what are we looking at here it, it, it's kind of difficult to say Cleveland has had the opportunity to win all the games they played in Orlando so far the well they've only played two uh, game three and game four but they were in both those games and in game four they even took it overtime so it's clearly not impossible to imagine Cleveland going into Orlando and coming out victorious I mean let's let's be real when you get that close you kinda have to start thinking you know you know they were one bucket away from winning game four so it's right there it's right there however they haven't won yet, and I don't think they've won in Orlando once this whole year. So what's it going to take? I mean, we know LeBron has had this brilliant postseason, and I'm sure he's going to play great tonight. He has scored at least 25 points in every game he's played this postseason. He's scored at least 35 in every game this series. He's thrown up, well, just one triple-double so far, but he's gotten very close to triple-double status in pretty much every game he's played so we kinda sorta have gotten to the point where we count on him uh, Michael Petrus has actually been playing decent defense on him so far but I, I, I wouldn't count on Michael Petrus to stay with him when it matters the most it's not that he's playing poorly but I mean, because he is playing great but there's a reason why he was kinda floating around the league for a little while I, it's worth mentioning so there's that and last game in game five we saw Mo Williams step up to the plate he delivered he hit six threes he was hitting his outside shots and being the complimentary piece that he needs to be so you know I like to see that I liked to see that much out of him um, you know it's also going to be guys like Delonte West need to chip in with at least 15 points I'd love to see Ilgowskis shoot more this game. I know I've said that repeatedly, but I think Ilgowskis should be taking more jumpers because of his uh, matchup against Howard, who likes to stay in the post. Um, Gibson was a nice spark off the bench for them in Game 5. I think he needs to continue to be that because this, other than Ben Wallace coming off the bench to grab rebounds, this Cleveland team is not getting very much off the bench. So maybe Gibson needs to be the guy. Um, I don't know why this is, but the last couple games, LeBron has been guarding Rafer Alston, which is completely ridiculous. Why is he not on Hito Turkoglu or at least Richard Lewis? So hopefully that'll change tonight, because he needs to be on probably Turkoglu, maybe Lewis, but definitely not Rafer Alston. You have to leave Rafer Alston up to either Mo Williams or Delonte West and just hope for the best there, because Alston usually not the guy who's going to beat you. Um, what else, what else? Um, really that's all about it. I'd, l I'd like to see Verigel get more tip-ins, but he can't really control that, because sometimes, you know, the ball has to bounce in your direction, and you need to be ready to put it up. So, it's not completely in your hands, in your control, concerning tip-ins, because really that's how Verigel gets his points. So, there, um, I, you know, I talked about this a little bit last night, but, there's a little bit of a anything you can do I can do better thing with Kobe and LeBron right now and Kobe played brilliant last night so I think LeBron is gonna have something good in store for us tonight I think he's gonna have you know 40 points probably at least 10 rebounds 8 9 assists some steals I, I think he's definitely gonna have a fantastic game and you know he had a fantastic game in game one and it wasn't enough so that's no guarantee of anything ultimately um, I'm not sure what it's going to come down to, but Orlando has been hitting their threes this series for the most part. They have had a really good streak of shooting threes, so maybe it's time for that streak to end. It started to end in the last game. Maybe they're starting to go cold because when this Orlando team is not making threes, they have a hard time, certainly. So maybe it's just time for those shots to just not go down anymore. Maybe that's what this game will ultimately come down to, so... I'm, I'm going to say Cleveland wins a very close one, and that's really all I can say, but it's going to be a good game, I'm sure. I'm out.